Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to speak to you about one of the most controversial and consequential events of the 20th century, the development and the use of nuclear bombs, specifically the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the United States. The story of nuclear bombs begins with the discovery of nuclear fission in 1938 by German scientists Otto Hahn and Fried Strassmann. The discovery was soon followed by the work of Weiss, Mietner, and Otto Frisch, who explained the physics of nuclear fission and demonstrate the potential of this process to release enormous amounts of energy. The implications of this discovery were not lost in the scientific community, and soon after, a race to develop a nuclear bomb began. The Manhattan Project, a top-secret project led by the United States, was initiated in 1942 with the goal of developing a nuclear weapon before Germany could. The Manhattan Project was a massive undertaking involving thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians. The project was kept secret from the public, and even many of the scientists working on it did not know the ultimate goal of their work. The Manhattan Project was successful, and on 16 July 1945, the first nuclear bomb was detonated in Alamogordo, New Mexico. The successful development of the nuclear bomb presented the United States with a difficult decision. On one hand, the bomb represented a powerful new weapon that could bring a swift end to the war. On the other hand, the use of such a weapon could have catastrophic consequences both in terms of the lives lost and the long-term effects on the environment and human health. In the end, the decision was made to use the nuclear bomb, and on 6 August 1945, the United States dropped the first atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima, Japan. The bomb, named Little Boy, had an explosive yield of 15 kilotons of TNT and killed an estimated 14,000 people. Despite the devastation wrought by the first bomb, Japan did not immediately surrender. Three days later, on August 9th, the United States dropped a second atomic bomb, this time on the city of Nagasaki. The bomb named Fat Man, an explosive yield of 12, 21 kilotons of TNT, and killed an estimated 70,000 people. The bomb into Hiroshima and Nagasaki remained one of the most controversial events in modern history. Supporters of the bombing argued they were necessary to bring a swift end to the war and save the lives of both American and Japanese soldiers who would have been killed in the invasion of Japan. Opponents argue that the use of nuclear weapons was justified, unjustified that the bombings were primarily intended to demonstrate American military might and intimidate the Soviet Union. The long-term effects of the bombings have been felt to this day. The immediate effects of the blast were devastating, with a widespread destruction and loss of life. Long-term effects have been equally troubling, with survivors suffering from radiation sickness, cancer, and other health problems. In addition, the bombings marked the beginning of the nuclear age, and the specter of nuclear wars hung over the world ever since. In conclusion, the development and use of nuclear bombs represents one of the most significant scientific and political events of the 20th century. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were a turning point in history, marking the beginning of the nuclear age and changing the course of world events. While the use of nuclear weapons remains a controversial and divisive issue, it is clear that the development of nuclear bombs has had a profound impact on the world and will continue to shape our future for generations to come. Thank you for listening. So what did you think? Do you think that we should have used nuclear bombs in Japan to end the war sooner? It's a difficult question that's hard to answer. Have a good day.